Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's podcast. Our final exams are upon us after a fairly short and challenging academic year. It is time for our hard work to pay off. In this week's podcast, our hosts are going to share some general tips on what to do to improve your results and what not to do during the exams. They will also be sharing some advice on how to deal with exam notes. Here we go. Hey, 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 it's Carl Stichlin. I'll be sharing two exam tips that can help me improve my marks. Number one, time management. I don't leave my studying for the last minute by cramping information into my head. It just won't help me pass. Well, first of all, I set up a timetable for my studies, organizing it accordingly and balancing my different subjects and time. Number two, eating nutritious foods. Keeping my body filled up by having foods that aid my concentration and memory, such as fish, nuts, seeds, blueberries, and yogurt. I try my best to stay away from sugary foods because it will only energize me and later on, in an hour's time, I'll be so tired and drained out. Fizzy drinks that we should all stay away from is Score and Dragon, which only gives you a lot of energy for amount of time, but at the end it only lasts for an hour and you'll be drained. That's why drink water to stay hydrated. One thing I try to avoid during the exams is being distracted by my phone, by being on social media. Most of us cannot avoid it. Well, you should try your best to keep it away and put it as far as possible to remain focused on your books. That's what I do. When it comes to exams nerves, I exercise to minimize anxiety. I do home workouts such as plyometrics and cardio to stay focused. You should do the same. Or go for a run or for a 30 minute walk just to stay calm and relaxed. If you don't like working out, listen to a song or read a book to remain calm and focused. Good luck for your examinations. Hi guys, this is Amber Isaacs and my top two exam tips are um, number one, to take a walk outside. So basically you'll get some fresh air um, to get the blood flowing to your brain and this will stimulate your learning. And then number two um, is teach your concepts to anyone like a friend, a family member and this will also help you memorize and understand your work even better like I read um, and explain my work that I've studied to my grandma and I found this like really effective Um, even though she like falls asleep halfway um, on my explaining but it works for me One thing I try to avoid during exams is wasting time, Um, not only during a paper, but like when actually like studying for an exam or preparing for for an exam. Um, So to avoid wasting time on preparing, I set up a study timetable um, where I set out, precisely set out um, each subject. On, on a certain day and I study those, I follow it. Um, <laughs> and then when it comes to exam nerves, um, I feel like we all struggle with that. I always try to stay calm um, because if I, if I feel nervous and anxious, I tend to forget and um, basically go blank. Good luck with exams, hearties. Hi guys, what's good? This is Rashaik Lindo and I will be sharing some exam tips. My top 3 exam tips are rewriting all the work or content learned in class as it always helps me memorize or remember the work better. My second top exam tip would most definitely be setting up my own questionnaires about the work I have learned in class and studied of course. Setting up my own questionnaires has definitely helped me improve my marks as the questions I have set up prepared me or gave me an idea as to what to expect in my exam paper therefore I would highly recommend doing it. The one thing I always try to avoid during the exams is to not be stressful. 
Being stressful often makes me forget most of the work I've learned, therefore I always try to avoid being stressful. Advice on how to avoid distractions during the exams is to always prioritize your work and remind yourself of your dreams and goals that you would love to achieve one day. When it comes to exam nerves or dealing with exam anxiety, always breathe in and breathe out and remind yourself that you got this. All of the best hearties, we can definitely do this. Yara should be here with my tips for studying and one to avoid. My main tip would be using your five senses. Touch, smell, taste, hearing. That would obviously help a lot. Obviously you would need your sight to read, but if you read aloud, you will hear yourself. You will memorize it easily. Smell and taste. They're combined. Get some chocolate, potato chips, anything, some snacks. Your mind likes to attach memories with something you can relate to. Fidget with something. Get some breast stick. That helps a lot. The thing I would like to avoid would be any type of distractions. For instance, we young generation, we like to play on our phones. We can't live without it. Put off your notifications or just completely don't use your phone. Now if you use a study schedule like me, 45 minutes study, 15 minutes break, you actually need an alarm because you can't overdo your study time. Your brain won't react to it. So, get something to fidget or eat and try to avoid distractions. Thank you. Good day, my fellow Hatties. My name is Kulumang Fiki Zolo from 10E1. My top two tips for the exams would be Number one, to get enough sleep time. We need to get enough sleep time, guys. We need to rest in order to focus properly. Number two, if you're the person that cannot focus properly in the afternoon because your siblings are making a noise and your parents are distracting you, this tip might work. What I do is that I get home from school and I sleep. I sleep till 7 o'clock and from 7 I eat. I know that by half 8 my siblings are going to bed and almost everybody at home is getting ready for bed since it's school or work the next day. And from 9 o'clock I start studying. I start studying till 12 o'clock and trust me I focus properly i focus so well guys the one thing i try to avoid during the exams is my cell phone because it can be a huge distraction i only use it when needed otherwise i try my best to cut it off my advice would be to find your distraction and cut it off during the exams when it comes to exam nerves i just take a deep breath and pray <laughs> Good luck guys, I know you got this. Good day to all our listeners and you are listening to Cloud in October. Today I would like to share a bit of the do and do nots for exams. Two tips for exams. Number one would be, you know those long, long, long paragraphs that they normally give you? Try to summarize it because as soon as you can remember the importance of the long paragraph, the better. Tip number two would be, if you can, try to explain the work that you're busy with, with a friend or someone that you know. Because as soon as you can explain the work, you have a bit of understanding of what you're actually busy doing. One thing to try to avoid in exams, or that I try to avoid in exams, would be is do not go to an exam class with a negative mindset. Because if that is your step one, if that is your first step, 
to go into an exam class with a negative mindset, everything else will just go to waste. Trust me. Then, last but not least, one tip that I always remember is when I get when I get anxious and those anxiety levels start to rise, is take a deep breath. Remember, you studied, you're giving your all, you're giving your utmost best. Take a deep breath, take a break, and just remember, you got this. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, Jordan here. I am from grade 11, so just want to greet you. So this week's topics are our exam tips. So I have two, my top two exam tips, guys. Here we go. So my top two exam tips would be to read thoroughly through your work so that it sticks in your brain and to practice a lot through subjects like math or science. And the one thing I try to avoid oh, is being on my phone for real. Being on my phone or watching TV. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. It's good to have a break. So I would suggest, suggest if you want to have a break, go outside and to stimulate your brain so that when you come in, you are fresh and you are able to take in new work, new notes. So yes, when it comes to exam notes, yeah. Have to think of it i try to listen to music calming music don't know i have music that is all ra 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 please people that not gonna work so calming music and praying or just yeah calming music praying and what was the last thing there was another thing just to think about my goals for the future because the moment you tell your brain okay this is why i'm doing it then you'd want to do it and those nerves would go away because it's like i can do this and because i have a goal in mind this is why i'm doing it hey guys my name is asanda mkutiana so my top two study tips firstly it's a study plan a study plan helps you find a balance that you are comfortable with and also helps in developing good study habits and establish good study routines which ensures that all subjects are studied so that at the end of the day you do not sabotage yourself where you find maybe you studied more for physics and then for math you don't have enough time so a study plan is very important secondly what I do when studying it I do not study two hours straight so minimize the time you study at least study for 30 minutes and take a break and study for another 30 minutes and also take a break in that way you will always feel refreshed and you know you can get work in you will not feel drained or sleepy and if you do feel sleepy just take a walk it's gonna help and one thing i also try and avoid when um, exams come it's stressing because stress you can just forget all everything you studied and it's not good to stress but when i do stress what i would normally do is um take a bath or do something that makes me happy or like watch a tv show and just yeah relax and get some sleep yes they can also help with stress thank you me, 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 me. Yes, it's me, Ruben Koopman again, aka Boralicious. Yes, the tasty one. I just want to say hi, guys. Hope you guys are doing well. And then, secondly, I want to give, I want to share one of my, sorry, my top exam tips. You understand? Well, for me, is you have to study in a clean and a quiet environment, like this room I am in currently now. Yo, guys, it's quiet. Okay, you can hear the wind outside, but it's quiet. Never study with music playing in the background or studying where books are laying everywhere. Trust me, you're not gonna get study. You're not gonna get the work in your brain, you understand? And, like, how can I say, um, if you, like, have a textbook over there, a textbook north, a textbook south, a writing booth northeast, you know, you're gonna get confused because you're gonna start asking yourself, what is it? Why is that there? And you, you understand, it's gonna distract you also on the other end, you understand? Secondly, I want you guys to work out or plan out a study roster and work as it's planned. Guys, I'm telling you, this helps a lot. It really helps. Go to any top learner and ask them what helps him, what, how do they plan out this stuff? They will tell you, number one, study roster. Yeah. 
sorry, a steady roster. <laughs> yeah, like you can say, one o'clock the afternoon, I'm gonna start studying. So to half past two, you understand? From half past two till three o'clock, I'm gonna have a break. Four o'clock, I'm gonna start again studying. Till five o'clock, from that time, I'll have a long break. Till eight o'clock the evening, study till nine o'clock or half past nine. Ten o'clock, I'm in the bed. Understand? Your work is you trust me. It will work perfectly. That's if you work according to what you understand. Another thing is, um, try to also avoid distractions. How I try to avoid distraction is by looking around. Cause guys, once you look around, you yourself, you alone are even guilty of making a distraction. Cause any movement, guys, I'm telling you, any movement, any movement can distract the person behind you, the person right next to you. The person in front of you, wherever, you are self guilty. But one thing I can tell you: don't, don't go for calm eating. Trust me, I, yo, I've been doing that, guys, and it doesn't work for me. Calm eating, no, 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 no. But yeah, like I said, if you on your nerves, calm down, take a walk, drink water, drink plenty of water, and just enjoy. Just go. Take a calm, sing songs, do whatever what calms you. Just for me, the best thing is to take a jog or a walk. And yeah, that's all for me today, guys. Guys, I want to tell you guys to have a nice day. And yeah, thank you for listening. Bye bye. And that is a wrap, guys. I hope our exam tips will be very helpful for you guys. And please do tune in again next week for our final podcast of the year.